Protesters in Myanmar show no signs of giving up and were back on the streets on Thursday morning, even as the junta escalates its crackdown. The night before, security forces fired rubber bullets at protesters in Mandalay. Railway workers had halted trains as part of a civil disobedience movement. Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators across the country took to the streets amid the ongoing strikes. The protests are also online. The Myanmar hackers group attacked a number of government websites, while the military repeatedly cut off the internet. In the capital, there were prayers for the recovery of a Mya Didekin, a 20-year-old protester shot in the head at a demonstration on the 9th of February. She's not expected to survive. The UN is pushing for economic sanctions and an arms embargo amid fears that the violence could worsen. The people of Myanmar understand what the military and these generals are capable of. They've seen it. And so the presence of, uh, of, of military, uh, of, of troops, um, and, and where these troops are coming from makes me very, very nervous. The United States is calling on the Burmese military to release all unjustly detained civilian and political leaders. Aung San Suu Kyi, the country's democratically elected leader, was arrested at the start of the coup. She is expected to be in court on the 1st of March.